What is up, YouTube? Happy birthday to WWE Hall of Famer Devon Dudley. Oh, my brother, testify. And happy birthday to former WWE referee Mike Chioda. X-Man 1991 here. We have another birthday that we're going to be talking about today. Today would have been the 60th birthday of legendary West Coast hip-hop artist, songwriter, not to mention Grammy Award winner, Artiste Leon Ivy Jr., better known by his rap name, Coolio. Coolio was known for being a member of the hip-hop group Dub C and the Mass Circle before he gained mainstream commercial success with his first three albums, It Takes a Thief, Gangsta's Paradise, and My Soul. He's known for his hit singles like Gangsta's Paradise, Fantastic Voyage, 1, 2, 3, 4, Something New, and See You When You Get There. He is also known for writing and performing the theme song to Nickelodeon's Kenan and Kel. Sorry I did not get a chance to buy a Coolio shirt in honor of his birthday, but when the one year anniversary of his death comes, which is next month, I'll be sure to wear a t-shirt of Coolio. Coolio was born Artis Leon Ivy Jr. in Monison, Pennsylvania on August 1st, 1963. And he was mostly raised in Compton. His mother was a factory worker, divorced his carpenter father, and moved to Compton when he was eight years old. Severally asthmatic, he was a regular visitor in his local library as a boy and began rapping when he was a teenager earning the nickname Julio Iglesias named after the Spanish singer Julio Iglesias which was later shortened to Julio. He was arrested for taking a weapon to school and served time in prison for larceny. As Compton declined in the 1980s he became addicted to crack cocaine but he quit drugs after spending time living with his father in San Jose, California. He worked in jobs such as a security guard at a Los Angeles International Airport and as a volunteer firefighter after attempting Compton Community College before beginning his music career. He recorded his first single, What You Gonna Do in 1987 and What Makes You Dance Force Groove with New School in 1988. In 1991, he joined the hip-hop group Dub C in the Mad Circle with Dub C, his brother, the late DJ Crazy Tunes, and Big G. In 1994, Coolio was signed to Tommy Boy Records and released his debut album, It Takes a Thief, on July 19th. The same day Jamie Foxx released his debut album, Peep This. It Takes a Thief hit number eight on the Billboard 200 and in the top five on the top R&B slash hip hop balance chart and was certified platinum. With his lead single of the album, Fantastic Voyage, which received heavy rotation on MTV and hit number three on the Billboard Hot 100. Other singles from the album include County Line, Mama I'm In Love With A Gangster," and I Remember. On August 1st, 1995, which is 28 years ago today, Coolio released his biggest hit, Gangsta's Paradise, featuring R&B singer LV. Of course, the song hit number one on the Billboard Hot 100 all around the world. The song was for the soundtrack of the 1995 movie Dangerous Minds, starring Michelle Pfeiffer. Three months later, on November 7th, he released his second album, named after Gangsta's Paradise, on November 7th. Gangsta's Paradise, the album, hit number 9 on the Billboard 200 and number 14 on the Top R&B Slash Hip Hop Albums chart and was certified double platinum. Other singles from the album include Too Hot and 1, 2, 3, 4, Something New. Of course, Weird, Weird Al Yankovic did a parody of Gangsta's Paradise called Amish Paradise. The song won a Grammy for Best Rap Solo Performance in 1996. 
Last year, the, the music video Gangsta's Paradise hit 1 million views on YouTube. Yeah, man, it's been a year since the video Gangsta's Paradise hit 1 million views on YouTube. In 1996, Coolio recorded his verse for the song Hit Em High, the Monstars Anthem, for the soundtrack of the 1996 movie Space Jam, along with Method Man, Busta Rhymes, Be Real from Cypress Hill, and LL Cool J. Also in 1996, he wrote and performed the theme song for Nickelodeon's sitcom Kenan and Kel. Ah, here it goes. One of the best TV theme songs of all time. That's what most 90s kids like myself know him for, the Kenan and Kel theme song. Aside from Fantastic Voyage and Gangsta's Paradise. On August 26, 1997, Coolio released his third album, My Soul. My Soul hit number 39 on the Billboard 200 and number 49 on the top R&B slash hip hop albums chart and was certified gold. With the hit singles, See You When You Get There and Ooh La La. Due to the album not having the same success as his first two albums, Coolio was immediately dropped from Tommy Boy Records. From 1997 onward, he released albums independently. There's another song I know off the Gangsta's Paradise album. It was on this episode of Duckman called Coolio Runnings, which Coolio made a guest appearance on. He performed that song at the end of the episode. On April 18, 2001, Coolio released his fourth album, Coolio.com. On October 15, 2002, he released his fifth album, El Coolio Magnifico. On October 16, 2006, he released his sixth album, Return of the Gangsta, with the hit single, Gangsta Walk featuring Snoop. On October 28, 2008, Coolio released his seventh album, Still Here. And on July 2nd, 2009, Coolio released his eighth album, From the Bottom to the Top, which was his last album released during his lifetime. Coolio's wife, Mimi Ivy, announced that Cooley, they're planning to release one more album by Coolio called Long Live Coolio that is set to be released either this year or next year. The first single off of this new album is called Tag You're It. And it's featuring, it's featuring Too Short and DJ Winno. I've seen the music video of it and it was dope. Tag, you're it. His hits, new single off of his new album coming soon. Coolio also had a web series called Cooking with Coolio, and he released a cookbook named after the web series. He made movie appearances in Batman and Robin, Judgment Day, Leprechaun in the Hood, Get Over It. In Pursuit, Daredevil, Futurama, Bender's Big Score. He also made TV appearances in The Parenthood, All That. Oh yeah, he was in an episode, he was in a sketch of Good Burger on All That. He made a guest appearance on Martin, Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Ari said he'd made a guest appearance on Duckman in that episode, Coolio Runnings. Malcolm and Eddie, Futurama, Static Shock. He had his own reality show called Coolio's Rules. Gravity Falls and Black Jesus. Sadly, last year on September 28th, 
Coolio was visiting a friend's house in LA. He went to the bathroom and he never came out and he was found unresponsive. He was pronounced dead. He was pronounced dead by first responders at 59 years old. Julio was cremated in a private ceremony with no funeral service and his ashes were given to his family. On my sister's birthday, April 5th of this year, the LA County office announced that Julio died from an accidental overdose. Just can't believe that it hasn't even been a year yet since he passed. And this year, today, he would have been 60. Man, I just can't believe that Coolio is, has been gone for almost a year. His wife Mimi also announced that she will be on TikTok Live for a photo autograph giveaway today to celebrate Coolio's 60th birthday. Oh man, just can't believe that he's gone. And before I go to wrap up my happy 60th birthday, Coolio, Just give me a moment. So to wrap up my happy 60th birthday, Coolio Ran, I gotta perform this song. And like I said before, this is like the only song that most 90s kids know him for. Aside from Gangsta's Paradise and Fantastic Voyage, I'm sure you'll recognize this song. You guys can sing along if you know the lyrics to this theme song. I'm sure you all do. Everybody out there, go run and tell your homeboys and homegirls it's time for Ken and Kel. To keep you laughing in the afternoon, so don't touch that dial or leave the room. Cause they always in the sum in the front, and you don't wanna miss it. It's double gay like two the good greatness. Keenan and Kel, or should I say Kel and Keenan? And you gotta watch Keenan, cause Keenan be scheming with a plan or a plot to rise to the top. But they always in the middle, cause they always getting caught. This ain't the Hardy Boys or a Nancy Drew mystery. It's just Keenan and Kel in your vicinity, like Sick Freedom Royd or Abbott and Costella, Magic and Kareem or Penn and Teller. Somebody's in trouble. Ah, uh, here it goes on Nick the Nick Nick the Nick, Nick, Nick. <laughs> 